just waking up and I am about to go, you know, do my morning routine and just gonna go um, brush my teeth, wash my face, take the dogs out, feed them, fix the bed. Usually I fix the bed as soon as I get up, so I'm gonna do that first. And then I meant to record um, like a glimpse of how it is in the morning when Chris goes to work, but I completely forgot to record that part, so maybe next time. But I am whispering because the dogs, as soon as they hear me and they know that I'm up, they'll start barking and going crazy. So I'm trying to be quiet. You could probably hear them. I have the TV on. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. just got I ordered some new products so I want to try I just want to come and make up on because I want to try these products out so normally right now I'm sitting down on a chair normally I do my makeup sitting on the floor because I have a mirror a long mirror in front of me that really needs to be clean because it's disgusting <coughs> and but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just putting my makeup on. And all the little click-clack sounds I hear in the background is because my dogs are here. And yeah, so stay tuned. I'm going to get ready. <laughs> pick up some lashes because I don't have any and I've been wanting to get some so I'm gonna do that this is the fit you know just simple my mirror is dirty don't come at me I still need to clean it I literally just cleaned this middle part but hair is not done because I don't know what to do with it so, I am going to Rite Aid, and I wear glasses. So, we are going to Rite Aid, and like I said, I'm going to go get some eyelashes. I don't want you to go to Ulta, but I get too lazy to drive all the way over there. Even though it's not that far, it's like 25 minutes away. And it's not far at all, but I just don't feel like driving over there in Rite Aid is not far. 
Oh shoot. So, sorry. Um, I just literally abruptly stopped vlogging. Whoa, it's so bright. There's two schools literally down the street from where I live and I left. I did not realize that I left around the time all the kids are coming out and because of that there's a bunch of like policemen when the kids get off. So I didn't want them to pull me over. So I stopped recording. But I will see you guys when I get there. So So I just got here. Change of plans. I went to CVS. You could see from the background. But I didn't even know. I forgot that there was a CVS, like, close from my house. I was going to keep driving and go to Rite Aid. It's not that far from CVS, but I'm going to see what they have here. So, I don't think I'm going to record in there just because it looks a little busy. And I'm not comfortable filming in front of people. So, I will see you when I get back in the car. My dog just came out. Lucy! She wasn't listening just a second ago. Come here! Come on! So, if you guys didn't see the previous clip, I'm not sure if I'll insert it because it's very short, but I think, uh, I think I might include it. But it's me trying to get my dogs back because they took off. Um, our gate, it's a wooden gate, so... It's really flimsy, and the the girls, they push the bottom half of the gate. So basically, like, our gate is like this, and they know how to push it. So our gate is not straight. Like, from the side, it's like this, and then the bottom, it curves out because they constantly escape from that corner, and they're constantly pushing the wood. So they already molded the wood to have, like, that flap at the end. So they constantly come out. Charlie, on the other hand, he can't really come out just because he doesn't fit, but I know that he could if he really wanted to, but he doesn't. He's more of the scaredy cat spectrum, so he's, he's scared of everything. And if it doesn't feel basically safe for him, he won't do it. So if he knows that, like, if it's not familiar, if the environment is not familiar, he, he won't do it. And there's been plenty of times where our gate is open and he doesn't leave. Just because, you know, it's not familiar to him and he feels safe. Like, where he, where he's comfortable with. Like, our backyard. And Lucy, on the other hand, she does whatever Bella does. Since Bella is the older one and she's, like, you know, the alpha. And now, since Bella started it and Lucy's seen it, she does the same thing now. And... They haven't done it in a while, and finally, I was like, um, I let them out, and I seen Lucy and Bella, I mean Lucy and Charlie, and I didn't see Bella, so then I brought them in, and um, I didn't see Bella, so then I left this slide door open by accident, and I came out, and I was looking for Bella, and I didn't see her anywhere in the yard, so just like she came out. So she was trying to fit back in, and the gate swung open, then Bella takes off again, and Lucy takes off. Charlie didn't, he stood in the yard, even though he was right by the gate when it opened, he just, he came back in the house by himself. And then Bella came back. She decided to come back. She goes into the house, and I close the slide door, and I'm calling Lucy. And I'm very shocked because usually Lucy listens really good. You say her name, and she'll come back, and she didn't. She just decided to take off, and I'm like, have you seen that meme like on Instagram and it says your dog gets love and affection, food every day, toys, unconditional love, and then this says the door opens once and they fly out <laughs> like the fucking flash? That's my dogs. And so uh, I'll definitely insert the clip of me trying to get Lucy back into the yard. But yeah, that's what happened. Now she's, you know, she's taking a nap. From her um, mini adventure of trying to escape but yeah I just finished taking pictures for the gram 
And it was kind of hard because I didn't have Chris to take them for me. So I just like propped the phone up and put it on a timer. And yeah, they came out. So mission accomplished. But yeah, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna make myself something to eat because I have not ate all day. And I don't even know what time it is. It's probably like four. Uh, I mean, it looks around four o'clock. But yeah, I will see you in a little bit. It was no joke. Gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang, gang. Bounce. I was recording today. Ah, oh, what was going on? Uh, that's not part of recording. Stop! Because <laughs> nobody knows how to drive! We are on the way to get Chipotle. But we hungry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is the first time that he's ever came home early on a work day. Woo-hoo! This is true. I left the office and the sun was still out. It ain't up right now, so I went and got a haircut. Yeah, it looks really nice. So smooth. Silky smooth, like a baby's smooth. <laughs> so, tell the vlog, where have you been? At work? The barbershop? At home because I was sick? Oh yeah, I don't know why I didn't vlog then. You were home for like three days. Yeah, but I was dying. I was dying. But yeah, we're gonna get Chipotle. And yeah, yeah. I will update you guys when we're there. Mm. So we ate our Chipotle. I finished mine first, which never happens. Oh, yeah, I know. Now we're watching Law and Order, but that is gonna. You know what? You always get freaking text messages. Group message. Who leads a um, Who leads a conversation with question marks? <laughs> Work never stops. Um, but this is gonna be it for the vlog. Um. Yeah. We just had Chipotle and that's about it. He's angry texting in the back, so <laughs> we will see you guys in our next video. Just um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. And like and subscribe. <laughs> enjoy some of these chapters in our lives. And we will... Until next time. Yeah.